Many times when we hear of cheating, our minds subconsciously brand the male counterpart as the culprit. This is really understandable, given that men are promiscuous in nature. Also, due to the fact that a greater number of cheating stories shared on social media and the internet are posted by more women. Naturally, men are blamed for every heartbreak and marriage failure. However, contrary to popular beliefs, studies show that women cheat more than men. Recently, a study was conducted and it revealed that Nigerian women are only second to Jamaican in the world when it comes to lying to men about the paternity of their kids. According to Dr. David Holmes, a psychologist at Manchester Metropolitan University, the reason is that when women cheat, they have a greater ability than men to hide the affair. Women are hardly suspected while men are usually caught in the act. Studies into paternity reveals that between 8% to 15% of children haven't been fathered by the man who thinks he's the biological parent. The upswing in the number of cheated women have been credited to a number of causes including the use of social media, dating sites, and instant messengers. Another factor to be considered is workplace proximity. In comparison to the decades before now when women used to stay at home as caregivers and are quite content to take the traditional gender roles of the past, the workplace really provides a platform for greeting and meeting and office romance. In order to curb the chances of being cheated on, some men stop their wives from working and turn them into housewives or in some cases open a boutique or supermarket for them to manage. Some very insecure men go the extra mile to cut their wives off from social media and even seize their smartphones while some demand to know the login credentials of their wives' phones and social media accounts. It is not known whether Mr. Alex Bonilla employed any of these strategies to keep track of his wife, but what we do know was that his wife cheated on him with their next-door neighbor. It must have been a harrowing experience for Mr. Bonilla that he decided to mutilate the genital of the wife's lover with a pair of scissors. According to reports, Mr. Bonilla had caught his wife cheating on him with his next-door neighbor sometime in May. Probably, out of shock, he didn't react then. One fateful Sunday, Bonilla broke into his neighbor's home with a handgun and threatened to kill him if he resisted. Bonilla forced the man up to his bedroom, tied him down and cut his penis with a pair of scissors. The victim claimed that Mr. Bonilla picked the dismembered penis and fled across the street to his own house with it. It is reported that two children were in the victim's home, about an hour west of Gainesville while the purported attack happened. However, the victim who was hospitalized is said to be recovering from the shocking attack. News outlets report that Alex Bonilla, who is 49, was arrested hours later on charges including aggravated assault, aggravated battery, false imprisonment, use of a firearm, burglary, and cruelty towards a child. The final charge is based on the fact that two other victims' children were in the trailer home at the time of the assault. In a statement issued by Gilchrist County Sheriff's Office on Wednesday, it revealed that Bonilla was being held on bond set at $1.25 million. The Sheriff's Office also disclosed that there has been an increase in traffic in the community where the victims leave as people keep trooping in to see for themselves what really happened. They pleaded with the public to respect the victim's family privacy. Up till now, it is unclear if doctors were able to reattach the victim's penis, the report said. The question is, what could have stared such vengeful spirit in Mr. Bonilla? Studies show that the most common cause of infidelity is a sense of emotional disconnection from your partner. When Bonilla saw his wife cheat on him, he stifled his anger instead of communicating with his wife to solve their issues diplomatically. He let the issue simmer for two months until he was compelled to break into her lover's home, hold him hostage at gunpoint and mutilate his genitalia. Now I know many people will exclaim, that serves him right, but have you really stopped to ponder on the reason for the wife's infidelity? What could have made Mrs. Bonilla to cheat on her husband? There are a thousand and one reasons why a spouse would cheat. Some of the reasons could be insecurity, boredom, lack of communication, living apart for an extended period of time, just to mention a few. Despite all these excuses, nothing justifies infidelity. Even if the cheater was a victim of infidelity and retaliated by cheating too, the person is just as guilty as his or her partner. The Bible's principle of godly marriage is clear. The emotional and psychological ordeal infidelity brings 
a better disgust than experienced. Aside from the fact that the cheated spouse will never trust the culprit, infidelity damages self-esteem, reducing the person to shame and guilt. In fact, infidelity creates a ripple effect that goes beyond marriage and affects all other aspects of life. What is your take on this? Was Alex right in dismembering the genitalia of the wife's lover? Let us know in the comment section.